welcome back. I'm Bridie, and this is Evo Hemp Academy's Module 2, What is CBD? Our goal in this lesson is to teach you the basics about CBD, the endocannabinoid system, how CBD works with the endocannabinoid system, and the main uses of CBD. Let's get started. Contrary to popular belief, CBD and THC are not the same. CBD, like THC, is a cannabinoid found in the cannabis plant. Cannabidiol, or CBD, was discovered in 1940 by Roger Adams at the University of Illinois. About 20 years later, Raphael Meshelam was able to successfully isolate CBD in 1963. The modern hemp plant has over 400 different compounds. About 100 of these compounds are cannabinoids, and one of them is CBD. Cannabidiol has been shown to have therapeutic effects, but will not give you the psychoactive effects, or high, associated with THC-rich varieties of the cannabis plant. Through the 1970s, a Canadian scientist named Dr. Ernest Small discovered that there are two different types of cannabis plants, a THC-rich variety and a low THC variety. The low THC varieties had less than 0.3% THC, which became the definition of hemp. CBD can be derived from both varieties of the cannabis plant. Today, hemp is the main source of CBD because it's legal in all 50 states. Have you heard of the endocannabinoid system? Inside your body, there is a biological pathway called the endocannabinoid system. Let's call it ECS for short. The ECS is constantly at work and is present in every part of our body. For instance, the ECS plays an important role in regulating homeostasis, helping motor coordination, and telling us when we're hungry or in pain. ECS receptors are also present in our skin, bone, fat tissue, liver, pancreas, heart, blood vessels, kidney, and intestinal tract. In the 1990s, scientists discovered endocannabinoids in the human body. Natural cannabis-like molecules produced by the human body's endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is present in all vertebrates, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. The sensitivity to endocannabinoids allows us to process cannabinoids we put into our bodies, like CBD. There are two types of receptors in the ECS, CB1 and CB2 receptors. Endocannabinoids and cannabinoids bind with these receptors to produce specific effects depending on where the receptor is and the specific endocannabinoid or cannabinoid. Researchers are still figuring out why and how CBD works in the body. Currently, CBD modifies the CB1 and CB2 receptors' ability to bind to endocannabinoids and cannabinoids. CBD also enhances the natural levels of endocannabinoids in your body. THC works differently than CBD in the body. THC binds directly with the CB1 receptors, which are mostly found in the nervous system and the brain. The brain is densely packed with CB1 receptors, and the THC binds with the CB1 receptors to produce the high effect associated with THC. The body produces an endocannabinoid similar to THC called anandamide. Anandamide controls various brain activities. For example, anandamide is released by exercising and helps produce the effects known as runner's high. The THC structure is so similar to anandamide that it fits perfectly to the structure of the CB1 receptors, causing the high feeling you get when using THC-rich cannabis. However, CBD doesn't fit like anandamide or THC into the CB1 and CB2 receptors. Instead, CBD modifies the CB1 and CB2's receptor's ability to bind to various endocannabinoids and cannabinoids, helping the body find a balanced state. So what are the main uses of CBD? CBD has many uses, both mentally and physically. 
It can help alleviate anxiety, insomnia, and inflammation. CBD is also non-addictive. CBD comes in many different strengths and forms, like tinctures, soft gels, gummy bears, honey sticks, water-soluble powder, skincare products, and smokable forms. Thanks for your interest in CBD. Please feel free to take the quiz to see what you've learned about CBD and how it works in your body. You can find the quiz for Module 2, What is CBD? at this link. We hope this helps you understand what CBD is. If you want to learn more about CBD and hemp products, continue on to Module 3, Know Your CBD. We'll see you next time.